Hey there, and welcome to A Well-Rounded Life, the podcast, a space for creative entrepreneurs seeking an intentional life and biz filled with grace, passion, and purpose. I'm your host, Jamira. I'm a mama, wife, dessert fanatic, and on the ultimate mission to get you closer to your idea of what it means to live a well-rounded life. Right here is where you'll find curated resources, quick tips, and relatable stories, no matter what season of life you're in. So hang out with me for a bit and let's dive in. Hi friend, Jemira here. After a super intimate Thanksgiving holiday and our first ever Black Friday Cyber Monday weekend over on shopwellrounded.com. And speaking of shopwellrounded.com, today's episode is sponsored by the Living Well-Rounded Merch Boutique, where you can find inspirational apparel, swag, and all the things to remind you the importance of living well-rounded. And I'm sure this year felt a bit different from the years past with the pandemic kicking up and COVID cases soaring. And with all that is going on, I pray that you and your family are staying safe and working really hard to focus on the positive components that have come out of this situation. Know that we are all in this together and this too shall pass. Yes, it's hard and this is just crazy at this point, but we are all in this together. This is something that we are all going to be able to talk to our grandchildren about and we can reminisce when all of this passes, which I really hope is soon. And so in today's episode, I want to chat with you about mindset. And a few weeks ago on my Instagram feed, I posted a motivational tile that simply said, mindset is the magic. The post got reshared a few times and I could tell that that statement resonated with some of you. I want to dive into the idea that having the right mindset is the magic to making our big dreams come true. Then mindset is what makes the difference between success and failure. Mindset is something that we can control as well, believe it or not. Mindset is the magic. Are you ready for some magic, friend? That is the question of the day. Are you ready to stop talking and focus on doing. Now is the time more than ever to use your power and shift your mindset in order to go into the new year with a fresh take on life, your goals, and what you deserve. And if you are tuned in and you are hanging out with me today, do me a quick favor, tag me on Instagram at coach for creatives or on Facebook, Coaching for Creatives, as I would love to say hi and encourage you on this journey that we are about to dive into. So let's get into Mindset 101. So the word mindset may be defined as the established set of attitudes held by someone. It is also described as a set of assumptions, methods, or notions held by one or more people or groups of people, which makes me think about the importance of being surrounded by like-minded people if you guys are going to have the same assumptions and methods and attitude and how you operate and do things on a daily basis. So in this case, this one person that I am focusing on is you. You are the person, my friend, that I wanna hone in on as we make the decision to change and shift our mindset. Yes, you. So what is it that you want to accomplish, that you wanna launch, revamp, or go after, or even get rid of? Some of us need to get rid of things and make some changes and offload, not necessarily revamp and add on to our plates. Think about your item or the items that you want to make changes to and write it down. The question I want to ask you is, what is your current mindset, aka your established attitude towards the thing you just wrote down? Let's say that you want to lose weight in the new year. What is your attitude towards actually accomplishing such a big goal? Is your outlook positive? Is it grim? If so, why is that? Is it possible that you can turn your negative thoughts into positive affirmations and excitement for what your life will look like once you reach your goal? More importantly, how will you feel once you lose the weight? Even though we complain about things being hard or that we don't have time, or that we are just too busy, the truth of the matter is this, friend. 
that there are people with way more on their plates, with more responsibilities, with more risk at stake, doing the thing that you are making excuses for. You may complain that you don't have the funds to launch your project or that you don't have time to work out or that you don't have access to a coach or the mentor that you feel like you need. There are thousands of startups that started with zero dollars and zero cents. There are people that decided not to invest in a gym membership or fancy workout equipment that they are actually meeting their fitness goals by just getting up and walking. There are people that are in their basements right now by themselves making magic happen. It's all about mindset, preparation, support, and willpower. Mindset is the magic. The magic happens when you speak more success into your life, when you pump up the positivity and do versus don't. The magic is all about you showing up to get it done instead of sitting back and watching others do the things that you ultimately want to do. How mad will you be when you see the person to the left and to the right of you doing the exact same thing that you said you were going to do months, even years ago? But believe me, you are not alone. All of us, all of us make excuses for why we don't do certain things that we claim we are excited about. All of us find ways to get out of doing the work and stepping up every now and then. But the reality is, at any given moment, any given moment, you can make the needed change to get it all done. You can shift your mindset so that you remain positive focused, and determined to reach your goals. Your attitude can be adjusted to get the needed task handled because mindset is the magic. Paired with mindset are action steps, accountability, and support. If you have the idea to do something, you should also consider the steps needed to complete the task. Looking back at the item that you want to accomplish in the coming days, the weeks, or maybe next year, I want you to decide what steps do you need to take to get it all accomplished. Big or small, write out each step, one by one, little by little, because little steps equates to big progress and big results. So make sure you write every single thing out so that we can make sure we don't have any missteps on this journey. Next. I want you to consider the accountability factor. Who can you depend on that will hold you accountable for your actions and also for your excuses? Because again, we all make excuses, but we need people to tell us like it is and let us know that we need to stop making these excuses. Make a list of folks that you can ask to be your accountability partner or partners. Let them know that you don't have games to play, you don't have time to waste or money to waste, that now is actually the time to get up and get it done. There's no time like the present. You want to let these people know that you are finally ready to make it happen and you are leaving behind the excuses in 2020 and you are excited for a fresh start and a new beginning in 2021 or years beyond. Lastly, I want you to make a list of the support items you will need on this journey as well. It can be physical components such as a new computer, some apps you need to download, software, and simply things like pen and paper. It can also be access to courses, Facebook groups, your church community, or something similar. Make a list of where you need support and start gaining access to those elements. Figure out ways that you can get access to those groups, to those courses, to the people, community, or whatever it is, so that you can make it all happen. And while you're busy on this journey and you're completing your homework assignments, I also want to hear from you. So I want you to email me, hello at coachingforcreatives.co, or just holler at me over on the gram at coachforcreatives, so that I can also push you towards what you know you need to be doing. We talk about purpose and passion and giving ourselves grace on this show all the time. 
And if you truly believe that the thing you need to be doing is aligned with your purpose, then let's stop making excuses. Let's change our mindset and let's get it going. Now is the time to focus on mindset. Before we get cluttered with all the noise, all the shiny things and everybody else and what they're doing, it's time that you shift your mindset so you can stay focused and you can hone in on your goals and your mission and the things that matter to you most. We have all talked trash about 2020 and how it will go down in history as one of the worst years yet for some of us. But there are others of us who feel like, you know, we have found some silver lining and some positive things that have come out of 2020. And I actually want to encourage you to do the same thing. Let's not make 2020 be a year that just feels so ugly. Let 2020 be the year where you actually decided to go for it, that you set time aside to work on your big goals in the next season of your life. The year is not over by any means. And so with that, let's make this year the year of change, shift, positivity, and focusing on the things that matter the most. So in this moment, let's decide to leave all the negativity behind. Let's start making plans for 2021, knowing that at any moment, roadblocks, distractions, and the unknown could possibly be placed in our way because that's reality. Things come up. Those distractions are just that, a distraction from what you know you have been called to do. If you set yourself up in advance, knowing that setbacks could possibly be thrown into the equation, then you can now make a plan to overcome the objections. Things will not be perfect. I'm going to say it again. Things will not be perfect on this journey. You may not get to where you want to be as quickly as you would like to. But that is okay, as long as you keep going and you don't give up. Little by little, mindset shifts, support, accountability, and faith in yourself will get it all done. You've got this. You've got what you need. I promise you, you've got what you need. There may be a few things you might need to put into play to activate, some favors you might need to call in. But let's stop making excuses Let's show up with a different mindset. Let's show up with a plan and let's show up with that positive attitude, that can do attitude that will help make it all come together and that will help make it all happen. And a quick note, if you have many ideas that you want to flush out or you're not exactly sure what you should be doing and where you should be spending your energy, I would genuinely love to help you. Because I have a few more spaces that I have opened up for my 2021 goal setting intensive program. Each year, I set aside a few spaces to mentor, coach, and support and love all my clients, aka playmakers, that are ready to make it all happen. My clients are business owners. They are mamas. They are dads. They are people that are ready to stop making excuses and they are ready to make changes in their business or even their just personal space as well. And these 90-minute sessions are perfect for anyone that is ready to set goals with action steps and accountability all rolled in. And one of the best parts is that the goal-setting intensives are super affordable, and I do that on purpose because, again, it's not about excuses. I don't want this to be an excuse or something standing in your way either. And they come with a physical planner to help guide you through the process and your best year yet. Because now is the time to start setting yourself up for what is to be in the coming months. So send me an email. Hello at coachingforcreatives.co. You know my DM over on Instagram. Check out the show notes or the website, awellroundedlifepodcast.com for additional information. I would love to partner with you on this journey as you set yourself up for greatness And you will be so excited when you actually pull the trigger and make it happen without excuses. Lastly, if you found this episode to be helpful, forward and share it with one of your friends. Spread the love and show your support for our show that we record with you in mind each week. And if you haven't taken a few seconds to leave us a five-star rating or a quick review over on iTunes, what the heck are you waiting for? You can just spend a few seconds of your day 
to do that review and that rating and it would make my entire day. So thank you in advance, friend. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of A Well-Rounded Life. I just wanted to give you a quick pep talk as you start to make plans for your Q1 and beyond of 2021. And so until next time, stay safe, stay positive, and focus on what matters most. Bye, friend. Friends, thanks for kicking it with us this week. Remember to subscribe so you're notified when a new episode airs. I'd love it if you leave us a review and share this goodness with your squad. Until next time, seek a well-rounded life and remember to focus on what matters most.